<sighs> Isn't it funny? I'm wearing a Christmas sweater. You know, jolly. But after this episode, complete opposite. This whole episode was just heartbreaking after heartbreaking. The rumors being threatened. This is so Romeo and Juliet. And I've said this before and I'll say it again. Jeans and Iwi's ending better not be similar to Romeo and Juliet. And for those who have never read Romeo and Juliet, spoiler alert, they die. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, before I begin the review, I just want to say this. Thank you so much for enjoying my videos. Don't forget to like my videos, comment down below, and overall, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you guys won't miss any new videos I upload pretty much every day. So let's start at the beginning of the episode. Everyone is at Commander Yoon's grave to pay their respects. Jiyoon is dead too. Apparently the others didn't know that he was there because in this episode they just found out that they were friends. And this leads to Changun's attack and Jiyoon's dad appearing out of nowhere to protect Iwi and Jiyoon. Now, for those who thought that Jiyoon's dad might have changed, switched sides, uh, protect Iwi in honor of his dead friend, but no, throughout this episode, he's pretty much the same character. Jiyoon's dad went in on Changun's men, just hacking and slashing, and when he took his hat off, yo, he meant business. And then from there, everyone knows that Changun is alive, and Changun and Prince One Son know that Iwi is definitely a girl. And then we get to the rumors. The rumors define this entire episode. So there was a rumor going around that Iwi prefers men, and there was another one going around about Jiyun and Iwi being a thing. I mean, they're not wrong, they're pretty much on the nose, but the rumors were so bad. It was to the point where Jiyun and Iwi could not be seen together, and it led to the point where Jiyun had to leave the palace. I will talk about that in a moment. Now because of these rumors, this makes Ha Kyung worry a lot, and to make it worse, she saw Jiyun and Iwi together. Now, I've said this before in my last review and in my episode 17 trailer predictions video. It's cool that they brought in another character. What's not cool is bringing in another character into the romance just so their only role is to be heartbroken. And to make it worse, she was crying in this episode. Like, come on. Ha Kyung wasn't the only person worried about these rumors. Even Iwi's grandmother, she insists that Iwi stay away from Jiyun and remove him from the palace. And she even insists that Iwi and Ha Kyung spend more time together and be seen with each other so these rumors can fade away. And if that wasn't bad enough, Jiyun's dad insists a marriage between Jiyun and Soon. Soon is not against it, obviously. She still loves Jiyun. And Jiyun. He was against the marriage, saying that this is going too far, but then until Jiyun's dad tells him, he knows that Iwi is a girl. And he used that information to threaten Jiyun. If Jiyun doesn't go through with this marriage, Jiyun's dad will kill Iwi. So again, just like I said at the beginning of this video, Jiyun's dad did not change whatsoever. But I do stand by, you know, his point of view in protecting his family. But certain times, it's way too far. And in the words of Jiyun's dad, it's not treason if the king is a woman. Oh, I'm not done talking about Jiyun's dad. Because later on in this episode, he chases after Changun and kills him because he knew the truth. Now, I understand Jiyun's dad's point of view. Do anything to protect your family. I get that 100%, but his methods are just way, way too far. Do you guys agree or not? Leave it in the comments below. And for Changun, I kind of saw that coming. <sighs> and then we get to the ending. Man, that was one heartbreaking scene. So first, Iwi finds out that Jiyun is going to get married to Soon. Iwi, she's heartbroken, obviously. And Iwi even told Jiyun, hey, we know it's going to be tough. But you don't have to go that far. But then Jiyun said, this is something I want. But we all know what Jiyun's dad said and will do if Jiyun doesn't go through with this. And to end the episode, it's just a heartbreaking goodbye. To be honest, to be completely honest, I have no idea how their romance is going to end. And this is just driving me crazy. I mean, 
Their ending can be similar to Romeo and Juliet. They want to be together, but they can't, so their only answer is death. Or the drama can end their romance with them never being together at all. This was just one sad, sad episode. That pretty much sums up the whole thing. I mean, with Ha Kyung being sad because of these rumors, Lee Wee and Jiun can't be together because of these rumors. Shoot, they can't even be seen together because of that. And Jiun leaving the palace and being married, well, gonna be, to another woman. And Lee Wee is being sad about that. Dang. Like, we knew that this moment was going to happen, but just didn't just really didn't count how sad it's going to be and I was just feeling down watching the entire episode oh speaking about romance the, I never thought that Gaon and Yongji would have a romance moment in this episode that, that just came out of nowhere I mean that's like the only plus side if if anyone who was watching this drama hoping that Gaon would would have a romance thing there you go is with Yongji. Oh yeah, and he also found the guy with the scar, the guy that ran out of the building, the one who might have killed Unuch Cho. His name is Sungyu. So yeah, Gaon right now is doing his own investigation. And yeah, he got some leads. You know, I really thought that Jiun's dad changed, you know, with the death of Commander Yoon, you would thought that that would be uh, the turning point for his character. But no, he stayed the same kill whoever he wants to kill just to protect his family i get it protect your family by any means necessary but again his methods are just way way too far and yeah that's pretty much the gist of my review and the episode if there's anything i might have missed please leave in the comments below also comment down below how sad were you watching this episode i was pretty sad so i want to know how you guys felt other than that if you like this video leave a like comment down below and subscribe see ya